Tom Slingsby, a pretty difficult day today, pretty patchy in places there. It must have been hard to call starts and everything, really, all the way down the line. Yeah, for sure the starts were hard. You just didn't really know if you were going to get a big gust on the start line and get to the line early or if it was going to be really light. Like in race two, we just couldn't get going and get to the start. And then in race three, we all sort of got there a bit early and, and we ended up getting hooked in the, in the last couple of seconds before the start. Uh, it was a tough day, but... Yeah, I'm really proud of how the team sort of rallied and came back from bad positions, bad starts, and got um, three good races. And Tash said you had a bit of time beforehand to really work out a game plan, is that right? Yeah, before the start, we weren't allowed to practice. You have to wait for all boats to get onto the course, but because we were one of the first boats onto the course, we were just sitting there waiting, and uh, we're just watching the racetrack, and we're coming up with plans. Okay, if they do this, we could do this. And it was good. We used the time that we weren't allowed to sail pretty well. And, yeah, we had a few plans in place. Cool. One last question. The new foils next season, titanium, they look like they're going to get us a lot more speed and probably a bit more lift. Have you had a chance to try them yet or not? Unfortunately, I haven't. Only the Canadian team. I think they've done about four or five practice days on those foils. I haven't used them. Um, I, I've spoken to Phil and he says that they're really good. He's a big fan of them. It's going to be a bit of an adjustment because they go so far outside the boat and it means the boats have got to stay further apart, otherwise they could clash foils. That's something we're all going to have to get used to. And uh, But, yeah, if they bring it in, great, let's give it a go. And in general, the main thing is what? Reducing cavitation at speed and then uh, extra lift even in the lighter airs as well, yeah? Well, actually, the main reason we're doing this isn't for to go faster. It's actually to um, reduce all the damage we have. With these L boards that we have, there's basically... we've tried engineering them all different types of ways to stop them breaking but uh, they just get a lot of delamination in the elbow in the L part of the foil. Is that through the box or how does it happen? Uh, no it's just basically the lift and suction on the foil it comes up and down and sometimes you get a big down force sometimes you get a massive lift force and and that L doesn't uh, take the load like a T does a T foil and so really the reason is we just keep breaking these boards and for the league they need something that's more sustainable and having to fix boards every event they, they and the T foil should provide that and they're quite a bit heavier but presumably just that durability is the key yeah yeah exactly as long as all the boards are the same for all the teams we don't mind how heavy they are